Hello and welcome. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can tune the Acer Predator Helio 16 for 2023 using the Intel Extreme U Tuning Utility. Since this laptop comes with the i9-13900HX CPU, which is unlocked, and thus we we're able to do some messing around with this CPU, we're going to look at how we can control the PL1 and the PL2 limits to effectively reduce the power consumption that the CPU has in this machine, thus allowing some more headroom to be pushed to the GPU so we can get a little bit better performance out of this. Now, Intel has basically locked the undervolting on this CPU, so unless the manufacturers have given you access to that level, we're not able to underclock the CPU, or excuse me, undervolt the CPU in this particular device. All right, now let's fire up our Intel Extreme Tuning Utility and I'll show you how you can limit the PL1 and the PL2 uh, on this device. And this is a free download from Intel. You can download it and it will work against any processor that it's able to. If you have a processor that's fully locked, you won't be able to do much in this tool other than just look at the information about it. So once we open it up here, we want to jump into the advanced tuning tab here. And you'll see that there's two particular things we're interested in. This one, the first one here is the Turbo Boost Short Power Max. This is also referred to as a PL2 limit. And by default, it's set to ridiculous amounts at 157 watts. Uh, that is actually the capability for the 13900HX and the 13th generation Raptor Lake HX processors, which are the flagship CPUs for mobile this year from Intel. And then we have the Turbo Boost Power Max, which is the PL1 limit, which is the longer sustained boost limit. And this one is set to a default of 85 watts. Not too ridiculous, but still far excessive of the 55 watts for which these CPUs are rated. So definitely some headroom there that we can take away from the CPU to still keep the clocks high, but take that power back and push that instead to the GPU in this machine and hopefully get a little bit more performance out of it. So the way to tune this, it's very, very easy. Uh, you just go here to advanced options. You can adjust the steps in which you want to do this. I like to set it to right a thousand, a thousand watts. Otherwise, by default, what you'll have, uh, the limit here, I believe, is 125. And if you do this, you'll be scrolling for ages. So, you know, do yourself a favor, go over to advanced tuning, advanced options, excuse me, and set this to 1000 milliwatt increments. Now, what I would suggest for the PL1 limit and the PL2 limit is going to vary for person by person, laptop by laptop, and even CPU by CPU, depending on the quality of the silicon that's in your machine and the capabilities of that particular system uh, of that silicon. So you'll have to play with these settings a little bit, but generally the range, I think, and I've tested this all the way from 28 watts on the PL1 limit up to 65 watts on the PL2 limits to see what is the performance difference and how the clock speeds basically jump up and down. So you'll have to do that on yours. A disclaimer though, I am not condoning, condoning that you do any of this on your machine. I'm not promoting this. I'm simply giving you the information and, the, and showing you the utility that you can use to do it. Do so at your own risk. You may damage your CPU. I am not responsible for any of that. Okay, so what I've done here is I've set this basically to 55 watts, which is the actual rated uh, wattage for these CPUs. So 55 watts for the uh, PL1 limit. And for the PL2, I have set this to 60 watts. 60 watts, there we go. And also another thing you can extend here, by default, the turbo boost window is set to 56 seconds. I've extended it or doubled that essentially all the way to 128 seconds to keep those clocks up as high as possible. Uh, you know, that will also generate extensive heat. So you can basically try it and see what works for you and what you're comfortable with on your machine. Once you've done all that, just hit the yellow apply button here. It is recommended, although I sometimes do it and sometimes do not, is to go over to stress, te stress test, select one of these stress tests and basically start testing. It will run a test that you can choose from a predefined interval. And if it all, all works without failing or crashing your machine, then you have a stable, basically power limit uh, threshold applied. And then you can go in and start testing your games thereafter. So feel free to do that if you so wish. But basically all you need to do is come in here, address the PL1, the PL2, hit apply, and then you should be good to uh, test your game play. One thing to note here is when you do do that, if you go back to the predator sense, after you've applied the extreme tuning utility and you adjust any of these modes or toggle them again, it may reset those based on what Acer has preset or predefined in the BIOS and firmware, which means that you'll have to go back into the Intel extreme tuning utility, switch the numbers again, switch them back 
and then hit apply for it to take effect. Uh, I've seen it, you know, bounce around and ignore those things in game if you've come in here after gameplay or after the extreme tuning utility and then toggle the, the, the modes here as well. Uh, one other thing I would point out to note is that because Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, you have to reboot it, or every time you reboot, you have to reopen the utility and reapply those settings, or at least have Intel uh, Extreme Tuning Utility running in the background. You could set it as a startup app so that when you do boot your system, once you've found a stable point, that Intel Extreme Tuning Utility is always running in the background and it's uh, applying your PL1 and PL2 limits. Not the best solution, but this is what we have to work with here with the Acer Predator Helios 16 for 2023. I hope that this helps some people try to get a little bit more performance out of their machine and at least adjust the PL1 and PL2 limits. But a note to Acer, please, this is a enthusiast laptop and it's your premier flagship offering for 2023. Give us the ability to control our CPU and our GPU independently, preferably within the software, or if not, at least in the BIOS. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe, like, and share across your social media networks to help grow this channel, and I'll see you in the next one.